What's up guys and welcome to Crossout. I thought I'm gonna test some of the things, some of the unanswered questions. Maybe they have been answered somewhere, maybe not, but not by me. And they definitely haven't been tested by me. So the first one uh, was the question that Dread actually had. He got himself these Phoenix crossbows and he was like, hmm, the ghost cabin, everyone knows that the ghost cabin adds... Um, damage bonus as you can see while you're cloaked but Strait's question was you see once the cloak goes off then you have let's count zero one two three four uh five seconds i think yeah five seconds to do more damage but Strait's question is if you're gonna shoot the bolt within that five seconds but the bolt is gonna explode outside the five seconds then does the explosion count with a damage boost or without it? That's a good question. So let's test it out simply. Let's shoot it without anything at all. That's my test Leviathan. And let's see how much damage it will do. 160. And I'm going to do this three times because I want consistent results. It has to do 160 every time. Then I know how much it is. Let's see. Yep, 160 is constant. Now I'm gonna cloak, I'm gonna cloak for 10 seconds, so it's 10% boost, it should do like, mm, about 175, something like this, so let's see. I'm gonna instantly shoot, so uh, it's gonna explode, and it doesn't even count, as you can see. So the ghost cabin and uh, the crossbow, it doesn't even count as a damage boost. I'm gonna try this one more time, but I didn't expect this. So I actually shot it out of the cloak. See, the effect is still on and it's still 160. Let's try it on the wheels because I want to be sure. Let's try on a wheel. Let's see how much damage it does to the wheel. Maybe it's just armor damage, but I don't know. Uh, 280, let's try this wheel, I might have to reset just to make sure, let's see how much this does, 281, now I'm gonna cloak and I'm gonna shoot in the same exact place and see if it does any more damage this time, so maybe it's not the cabin damage, let's see, 286, mm, I don't think it does more damage. I think that was just because I shot it in a different place. One more test. There we go. Exactly. 10% boost and... Nope. So, this is confirmed, guys. The Ghost Cabin doesn't have any effect on the Phoenix. But what about other weapons? Does it even work, this, <laughs> this cabin? I mean, no one's actually tested it, has have they? Let's try. 120. I'm gonna hit it again. Three times, as usual. 120. Yeah, this is consistent enough. I mean, I built this Leviathan just for testing. Now let's cloak and let's see if it even does more. <laughs> if this ghost cabin even works. No one's actually tested it, so let's see. And... Yeah, this works. 132. 132. That was two shots within the range. And the third one, 120. So, yeah. This one works. This one is confirmed. This one works. The fat one works. But what else could we try? Maybe fortunes? So, my question is how the heck I'm gonna test the fortunes. This is gonna be really difficult, guys. Um, this is really gonna be difficult. Well, I can shoot them straight into the cabin, yes, from here, like so. 85. Uh, okay, I think I can test this, uh, fine. I'm gonna move a little bit further and shoot somewhere in there. That's 85, okay. Next test is to try if it even boosts while the effect is, you know, active. So, let's put it to 10, then it's, um... Yeah, definitely works, definitely works. But now the next test is to try and see if I shoot the wheel while the effect is still, you know, active, but it explodes on the truck when it's not active. So that is the test, and I have to shoot it just before it goes off. So let's try to do this, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait now until it charges up, and then I'm gonna fire away just before the effect goes off. So, alright. 
Uh, let's try to do this. Let's see how uh, close it's gonna come. So, uh, yeah. If the wheel uh, leaves this thing while the, uh, while the thing is active, then it will do more damage. So that was confirmed. No, this needs further testing. I am not happy with this. What I want to do is I took the wheels off the Leviathan and also the frame, so there won't be any inconsistency. I'm gonna try and shoot straight in there without moving the mouse. Okay, this is consistent, I think. 78. So also fortunes do less damage from the range, which I didn't know, so I just confirmed that. Alright, 78 to 79 is confirmed, so now I'm gonna wait and shoot just before the, you know, boost. Actually, I'm gonna do again. I'm gonna do this, this test again. See, that's 10% damage. Yeah, you can clearly see the increase. And now, the test again with, you know, after the effect is gone. Alright, I'm getting ready to shoot. I'm gonna shoot just when the effect goes off, so that the wheels shoot while the effect is still active. Yep, that is 100% confirmed that if the wheel leaves your uh, fortune while the effect is active, then that specific wheel will do more damage. And while we're at it, why not test the pyre? Let's see. Let's see if this works. So, I think it works the same as the fortune to be honest, but let's, let's make sure, okay? Let's just shoot from here. One shot right into the cabin. 105. I'm sure it's gonna do the same damage, but I want to be sure. You always make, you know, consistent results, so. Yep, 105. So let's cloak and shoot that rocket again now. Let's see. 116, okay. And next again, once the, you know, the effect runs off, then I'm gonna shoot one more. Alright, almost there. And now I'm gonna just shoot just before the effect runs out here yep that is confirmed again I will test the hurricane but I'm sure it's the same well since I'm at it might as well try the grenade launcher too let's see 54 54 yep that is definitely uh, consistent let's see uh, this cloak waiting let's wait and wait and wait let's see I can actually do two in one 59, 59, and 59, and 54. Yep, all the other weapons act the same. W uh, if you're shooting out whatever projectile the weapon shoots, while the effect is active, then it's uh, considered to do more damage. So that is confirmed. But what about the melee weapon and ghost cabin? Has anyone ever asked that? So... Let's test it out and see if it actually works. Let's see. Uh, what is that? 28, 28. Yeah, that's a uh, constant 28. So let's cloak and let's see if it does any more damage with cloak. Let's see. Let's get ready to rumble. I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna push this into it and let's see. Yep, it works. It works on a melee. See, it goes more, more, more and then it goes 28. So that's also confirmed. Melee also works on a coast cabin. But what about lances? Does it work with lances? Let's just try. I'm gonna poke it with one lance first. Uh, 213. Let's poke it again with another lance. I have to be really careful. Uh, 211. This is inconsistent. I need to test again. Let's poke it again. 213 and... 2... Eh? That is so un inconsistent. What? I didn't know that before. I think it's 2.13 uh, and it depends on the sp speed. No, <laughs> it's 2.10. Uh, let's call it 2.10 to 2.15. That is very un un inconsistent. Look at that. 2.13 and one more. 2.14. This is very inconsistent. Alright, I think this is speed based and it's very difficult to do it. So let's just cloak and try it with a cloak. If it even works. The lances, I mean. Pretty sure they do, but let's just test it anyway, so... Uh, 10%, let's see. Yep, that definitely works, look at that. Yep, 230. That was 220? And 215, okay, so... Uh, that's also confirmed. Lances do work with their ghost cabins effects, so... 
I think this is enough testing with a coast cabin, so I will see ya uh, next time.